All right, Ultimate Hoops Nation, my name is Reed Nelson. His name is Yalkavas. This is This Week in Rec. Great game tonight between UANO and Free Ballers, which we hung the banner tonight. Nobody noticed, but we hung it. Oh, nice. It's a very nice banner. Um, so, triple, double, double overtime. Um, end of first overtime, or at regulation, we had a Storm Graham three-pointer that was almost called a two-pointer. All, everybody on the free baller thought it was a two. It was a three. We had the instant replay going. Did you know that I was highly considering an overturn? Because we had it in crystal clear HD. And as soon as I looked at it, I was like, okay, he's behind the line. I'm yeah. like, please call it a three ref because I don't want to have to do this. Because you know that opens up to floodgates. Yeah. Because now it's like, oh, shit, Reed's, <laughs> Reed's in the corner with the camera. He's like frozen. I'm like, oh. It didn't record. <laughs> yeah, it did record, I promise. <laughs> so the funny thing is, though, is Storm's foot almost came back yeah. down, and he almost traveled. How he made that shot is beyond me. Um, any thoughts on just that portion, that highlight, which we're running? Yeah, <clears throat> both teams, everybody's really good. Everybody on both teams is really good. Um, I'm honored to be a part of this league. Um, Storm is really good. Paul's really good. Um, Ahmed's really good. Andre Greer's really good. Uh, both teams played great basketball. Uh, it was really a pleasure to watch both teams play. Um, and in double overtime, that's just bonus basketball. I couldn't have asked for anything more. <laughs> I, know exactly, I know exactly what you're doing. And it's so awesome. <laughs> okay. So we get into the second overtime. Uh, <laughs> Adam Kidd with... A really nice, uh, what would you call it? <laughs> Probably the best play I've ever seen in my life. A nice running layup. Um, <laughs> <and laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, Adam Kidd with the layup. Um, that was to tie the game, correct? Yes. Yes. So, and then there was a little bit of a weirdness on the other end. Mike Churchill had an easy layup. And he just kind of missed it. It was weird. The horn is not loud enough. Because I struggled to hear the horn. It was really quiet. I think they turned it down because it was so loud. And I think that affected him a little bit. Because it's like, did we just hear the horn? Or was that the other chord? What was that? It was strange. But he missed the layup anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, it's not his fault. We all miss layups. Um, so you can't really fault him for that. And they took a couple of shots. Um, they were up two. Uh, Churchill took a three with about a minute 10 left, up two points. He was wide open, so it was a good look. Um, and then with about 30 seconds left, Nick took a baseline jumper up two points, um, which was also a really good look, so you can't fault either one for, for taking the shot up two with, uh, with 30 seconds and a minute left. Okay. Uh, and then in the double overtime, I don't really remember what happened. See, this is where I, where I need you because they win by five, three. Storm hits a three to start the overtime. Really nice shot by Storm. Nice shot, Storm. Um, and they were able to, and then uh, the free ballers went down and made a two. So it was always that one-point game. Uh, and then Storm, I believe, split one and one. The free ballers went down and missed, and I believe um, they iced it with free throws. So they're up two, and then they iced it with free throws to go up four. So, okay, I'm glad we had the highlight of the Storm three because a lot of the free ballers did not think that that was a three. So moving to last night, um, we had a Jake gave an interesting call there. I want to talk about the footballers first. So um, I'm not too worried about Rick Spearman watching this video, so I'm going to just go ahead. Charles Johnson, Matt Asiata, Robert Blanton, Marcus Sherrills, Josh Robinson, all in attendance. I love what you had to say about Robert Blanton. You're like, that dude does not look like a football player. But he's, he's scoring the most points in their team. I think he had like 18, 19 points. Yeah, <clears throat> he's, really, he's really good. It was really fun to watch them play. Um, it's, it's great to have him in the league. Uh, Robert Blanton looks, it reminds me of P Pinkett, Pinkett yeah. when he's playing. Um, so Pinkett could be in the NFL. It's weird to think that. Yeah, yeah, they're they don't strike, they don't stand out. I mean, Charles Johnson, Johnson has phenomenal like his jumping. He's got such quick twitch with his jumping. He he bounces so fast. Um, it's it's amazing. Like he's on another level. Uh, Marcus Sherrill's extremely fast up and down the court. He's actually pretty talented. 
Um, even Blanton looks like he's he played basketball before. Um, they're they get a little too passive, not passive, but they um, it looks like they're just kind of in it for the sweat, and you can't fault them for that. You know, everybody plays in this league for different reasons. Um, some people like to score a lot of points. Um, some people don't. Um, and it's just it's just a pleasure work playing with everybody in this league. Okay. Uh, you were not in attendance, but we got a really good highlight. Uh, Zach McCray with the three-point attempt. Um, what are your thoughts on whether or not Jake Gave fouled him or not? Yeah, I don't necessarily think it matters whether he fouled him or not. I think what we really should be focusing on is the determination and effort that he put in to play defense. Um, Zach really wanted to make that shot, and Jake gave put forth ultimate effort. Um, so I commend him for that. He did not fight. He kept playing till the whistle blew. He put his hands up. He even had his hands up after the whistle blew just to show a his... A little com- smirk on his face. Well, he just wanted to show his commitment to the team, and, and I respect that. I, I think it was... I think the the call is is moot. I think it has to do with the effort of both teams, and, and both teams showed up. I think it was a foul. Hands were up. Hands were leaned over a little bit, and he did give him a little extra, you know, little extra, little extra hip at yeah. the end. But um, I would like to make a point about guys who use the phrase "and one." Okay, so we're about the same age. I was in middle school when "and one" was like the thing Mm -hmm. like i had two pairs of and ones i don't think people realize that that was like a shoe brand like some of these kids in here they're just like it's just like a thing that was like the biggest thing beyond uh, other than like nike and 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 george still it was it was number three was iverson iverson part of ant i think marbury was because iverson was reebok yeah so maybe marbury so it's definitely marbury i believe and then he got starbury so i i think people are confused because when you say and one, you know, it's not a signal to the referee that, hey, referee, I was fouled. It's a signal to the other player that, hey, man, you fouled me, and I'm so good that I made the shot. Okay? So next time you sit, scream and one and the ball goes off the top of the backboard, that's not an and one. <laughs> that's the point of and one. It's I'm so good, I made the shot. And I don't think people understand that, and that's – that's my number one pet peeve when I come to the league at night is and one. But no, you didn't make it, dude. You got to make it. So stop saying and one, guys, please. Unless you make it, then you can say and one. It's not a signal to the official. It's a signal to the other guy. Go ahead and follow me, other guy. Yeah, I think it's the optimism that everybody brings to the game of basketball. Um, they all feel like their shots are going to go in, and, and I think everybody's shots are going to go in. It doesn't matter who's shooting it. I expect everybody to make all their shots. So when they say and one, I, I believe that the ball is going to go in, and if it doesn't, it's just an upset, huge upset that it doesn't go in, um, defying all odds because the ball usually goes in for everybody in, in UH. Last thing, 12 o'clock boys, uh, Dewan or Dijon Dewan, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce his name, Dewan Davis, um, ineligible. Um, do we want to pull the veil behind the Players Committee? I don't think we do want to pull the veil behind the Players Committee about what really happened, but uh, we discovered him early this week. Um, it was brought to, obviously, the nation's attention, UH Nation's attention this morning, um, but Green Arrow with, with, with the forfeit last week, or, yeah, Green Arrow with the forfeit win last week, um, this one's a little different. Mm-hmm. I don't think we necessarily need to go into why, but it, it is what it is. You, if you played college, you know, he was there for picture day. I never saw a box score of him, but I definitely saw a picture day. Mm-hmm. So, uh, unfortunately, if you were at picture day, college basketball, you can't play. Um, and Fall 5 gets back on track with a win over 12 o'clock boys. Talk about their effort. Um, they all came to play. Uh, despite the loss, they picked up uh, – uh, Omar Simpson. Which Omar did not make a good impression. I think he was 0 for 7 from the three-point line. He had players on the other team or on his own team basically screaming at him. <laughs> I don't think he made a good impression. Yeah. Um, he'll get his bearings behind him. Um, he's he's one of the best players to ever grace the court. Um, very, very good. Very talented. All the players on, on the 12 o'clock boys are very good. Um, one through five. Actually, one through eight. Um, Dewan was really good. He's no longer on the team, but it almost feels like they have his essence. Um, so they feel and they, and they, and they feed off of his, his essence, um, even though he's no longer with us. Okay. Well, uh, we will. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you for today, Izzy. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you guys next week.